this one that's about to die because of the leaving on. So in this example, again, guys, to graph this, we need to make sure we know how to graph the natural logarithm. Again, guys, it doesn't matter what the base is. If you guys remember when we looked at Desmos, the base just tells you how sharp it still crosses, right? But it still crosses at 1, 0. So the graph looks something like that. Okay. Well, now we just need to look at what's our only transformation. Our only transformation is x minus 1, which is telling us to shift the graph to the right 1. So now I'm going to shift my x-intercept over 1. However, remember there is a vertical asymptote. So if I'm shifting my graph over 1, the asymptote also needs to be shifted over 1. So now the graph looks like this. And it now has a new x-intercept at 2, 0. However, also remember, it's being reflected about the x-axis, right? So I kind of got ahead of myself. And I now need to reflect it about there. So the blue graph will be what your graph would look like. Does everybody see why it's negative? That reflects it. And then the minus 1 shifts it to the right. The red graph is me just doing the transformation to the right. Okay. But then I had to reflect it at the end. So now let's go and answer the questions. Um, graph the function, analyze the domain. The domain is a set of all x values. How far to the left does this blue graph go? How far does the left does it go? Zero. One. Right? Remember, that's the new asymptote, right? So one, how far does it go to the right? Infinity. The range. And remember, it doesn't touch one, um, so therefore, why that's right. The range, how low does this graph go? Negative infinity. How high does it go? Positive infinity. Um, next thing is they say continuity. That is continuous on all events. Uh, increasing or decreasing. From one, from 1 to infinity, the graph is decreasing. So you could just say from you know, the interval one to, neg 1 to infinity, it's decreasing. Uh, boundness, this graph is not bounded at all. Uh, extrema, there is no extrema. Symmetry, it is not symmetrical about anything. Uh, asymptotes, you can say that the asymptotes are at x equals 1, because remember, we shifted the whole graph to the right. Originally, the asymptote is at 0, so when you shift it over to the right. And then end behavior. Well, here, you guys can see that as we're going to the left, as x approaches, we're not going to negative infinity. So as approaches x equals 1, so as the graph approaches negative, as approach to graphs 1, you can say f of x approaches infinity. And as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity. OK? And then that's it. <coughs> All right, sorry guys, it's a kind of a 